<laughs> Indigenous human rights activist Maria Magdalena Kukchok appeared in court today facing charges of encroachment of land, issuing threats and illegal detention in what her lawyers believe is an instance of criminalization of social movements. <laughs> Chok has been providing support to the Chabil Chok community in her capacity as a human rights promoter and language interpreter. The small farming community, composed of approximately 50 indigenous Kekchi families, is in the midst of a land dispute with some of Guatemala's most powerful elites, including former president Otto Pérez Molina. The land titles are currently owned by Lisbal Sociedad Anónima, a shell company allegedly run by Pérez Molina. Kekchi small farmers say they inhabited those lands until the 1980s, when they were violently dispossessed by non-indigenous ranchers at the height of Guatemala's decades-long civil war. Las 60 familias estaban regadas por donde quiera, pero cuando empezaron a llegar las fincas, la primera finca vecina, cuando vio que había casas acá, empezó a disparar en el aire. A group of 50 families composed of original inhabitants or their descendants occupied the land in December 2016 in an effort to pressure the government to seize and redistribute Perez Molina's properties under Guatemalan anti-corruption and anti-drug laws. Perez Molina is currently on trial for corruption while members of his inner circle face drug trafficking charges. Chabil Chach was violently evicted in October 2017, but community members decided to reoccupy the lands in January of this year. Chuck's friends and family believe Chuck's arrest was a retaliation for the reoccupation of Chabil Chuch. Lawyers believe that the accusations levied against Chuck are part of a wider pattern of criminalization of social movements. We consider that there are all the patterns of persecution penal y de forma sistemática contra defensores de derechos humanos. En este caso no existen elementos. Hay un, hay un, hay un postulado que establece que se que no debe procesarse a las personas sin tener una investigación previa y seria antes. Y en este caso se suma a uno de los casos que nosotros tenemos conocimiento donde se persiguen a personas que están en defensa de derechos humanos. After a brief hearing held behind closed doors at the request of her lawyers, Kukchuk was released on bail for 5,000 Guatemalan quetzales, or approximately 680 US dollars. Her trial is scheduled to begin in July 2018, but in the meantime, she vows not to stop working in defense of the Kekchi people's rights. Sé de mis derechos como mujer indígena, y como mujer indígena seguiré adelante, cueste lo que me cueste, porque a mí nadie me puede callar. For more information, click on the link in the description below or contact Rights Action with whom you can also make a donation to help with Maria Chuck's legal defense.